Welcome chillins. Let's feel back with the professional painter and decorator. Welcoming. I'm going to welcome the people that are pressing that super thanks. You know who you are. I know who you are. All I can say is thank you very much. It's much appreciated. Hopefully you'll see an improvement in these videos because um, the super thanks that you're sending me, that little bit of money helps me towards that um, bit better uh, video editing software that um, um, I said I was going to get so hopefully you're seeing a bit of an improvement on these videos probably not anyway back to it WRX paint you'll have seen a video there hopefully uh, a few weeks ago um, I don't know how many videos back uh, quite a few probably or not so many depending on when you're watching these uh, WRX paint you've never even heard of it if you're new to the painting and decorating industry or you might be um, into your different brands of paint WRX paint uh, fifth largest manufacturer in Europe they're a Turkish company parent company Al oh let me have a look on the tin I keep pronouncing it wrong um, Akali Akali Inc um, They've obviously got a company that's in the UK, but it's a Cali Inc. Fifth largest manufacturer of paint in Europe. If I'm wrong on that, just tell me. I know they're trying to get higher up on that fifth rating. Right, that previous video, we tried the satin wood. What did you think to the results? Not bad, were they? Not bad for a paint you've never heard of. What? Yeah, you know, you've probably heard about the rattle cans. You've seen the WRX rattle cans in some of the paint supplies that you might get your paint from. But... As I say, if you're an amateur, if you're a semi-pro, if you're a professional, I'm just going to try this paint out for you, see what it's like. The thumbnail. I've actually got, because I told you before, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I managed to pick up paint samples from the paint and the decorating show in Coventry in the UK. Oh, it's back November time. I managed to get my hands on some eggshell. So the difference between the eggshell and the satin wood Satin wood's got a little bit more sheen. They sometimes call it semi-gloss. Eggshell, you'd expect a little bit of a flatter finish. That's all there is to it. They're both water-based. Read the can. Stain resistant, brilliant, we like that. Washable. Wash brush that dead easy. Bit of warm soapy water, get them out. This is an interior paint by the way, right. Moisture resistant, quick drying, high coverage, and it's odourless. Now this is interior paint. Some of the other paints that I've been testing up there are interior stroke exterior. Your bed X, um, some of your Ticarillas and things like that. So don't get confused uh, by picking up the wrong paint. There are some water-based paints that you can use inside and out. We'll touch on them in another video. But I'm gonna be using the eggshell on Doris the Door, because you know I've got Doris the Door painted in these darker colors. This green color is quite a good base to um, try paint out. I don't expect white paints to cover in two. If they cover for two, we're on a winner. I'd expect, let's call it a primer undercoat and then two top coats would get you a, a decent finish. Some paints that we've been testing in that product review haven't even been covering after that one primer stroke undercoat and two top coats. That's why I'm doing it for you. That's why we're looking at these paints. Dark colours, I know we would put an extra coat on, but it's nice to see what they do after two coats and obviously what they have to do over three. The paints might be brilliant, they might be a really nice finish, they might be nice to apply, but you've got to weigh up that difference between paying for a little bit more expensive paint that covers for that two to three coats or whether there's an extra coat needed that quite possibly might be a fourth coat. But that's for you to decide. Right. I'm going to use this. It does say you can be thinning 10%. I'm going to try it straight out the tin. And as I said on the satin wood video, it's easier to put water to it than take it away. So let's see what it's like straight out. It might be fine. And I do go on about temperature of paint. Sometimes it makes it easy to apply um, when it's warmer, i.e. the paint can be warmer or if it's cold, you'll struggle. But let's see how we go. We'll, we'll try it straight out the tin. If I put a coat on and say it needs thinning, I'll tell you. Right, what? Hey, hey, what mother? What brush am I using? Do you know what? I did a, I'm gonna say last year, cause you're probably watching this a few months on since I did it, or a month on. I'm gonna try that Hamilton brush that was a, a pack of brushes from 
tool station. They weren't too bad brush, they're a, they're a budget brush. I'm going to try it, I'm not going to use my Arrowworthy, I'm going to try this Hamilton brush, which, uh, let me see if I've got a Hamilton for the trade. It's one of these, synthetic, I quite liked it as a budget brush. I, people know I hate the word go to, so don't use that. It's not going to be my everyday brush to use, but for doing this sort of thing, let's see what it's like. So a budget stroke trade paintbrush, a decent quality, I'm going to say, I've not even tried it yet, I'm going to say a decent quality paint, let's see how we go. So I'm going to tip some paint out, work out a proper paint kettle, and uh, let's get coated up. Proper paint kettle, do you know what? I ought to show you how you burn a paint kettle out because these paint kettles are building up. If you're a professional painter and decorator, you've probably got these metal paint kettles. Don't, obviously, please don't burn out plastic paint kettles. Um, metal paint kettles, we, as a firm, we've got a number of these and you rotate them. So you build up with paint, then after a, a season, six months, 12 months, might be a few years, a build up of paint. Sometimes the lip can go um, a little bit rounded. You either get a, a Stanley blade other blades are available, off the blade, you cut and make it a bit sharp or you pour a little bit of methylated spirits in, white spirit, a bit of a piece of paper, a bit of a rag, set it to light, let it burn out, the paint's inside, it's like using a blow lamp and then you clean them out and then um, sand them, a bit of um, shellac knotting to kill the dust and then away you go, but that be, that can be for another video. Let's, I'm going to do half the door again moldings panels and I'll take it halfway down because I'll use the other half for another video at a later date so uh, let's see what this paints like I didn't think the satin wood was too bad so um, let's see what the um, eggshells like one side of the kettle please don't slap it about like you're on a building site and you don't know what you're doing you only have to do is put your brush in pick up a little bit of paint on one side of the brush turn it round, pick up a little bit of paint on the other side of the brush, wipe it down on one side of the kettle and away you go. Back in the room. Oh, liking it. Never used this paint before, you know what I'm like, I try and use them straight out the tin, never used it before so I can give you the honest opinion of my first impressions using a paint just like you would if you were picking up a paint you've never used it before it's what your first initial thoughts were and while i'm here if you look over that shoulder if you want to know how to paint a door properly with a brush i'm your man this is a water-based paint so i'm expecting it to go on nicely and not pull, which it is doing, it's going on really well. Eggshell will be a flat finish, so it's very forgiving if you've got a surface that's not very nice, i.e. a bit of mapping on it or textured. The shinier your paint, the more it shows up in for, uh, can't say it, imperfections. Let's lay those edges off. Scrub those fatty edges off. And I'm going to go into speed mode and finish this door off for you. Do you know what? That went on quite nice. I've actually got a dry surface because that Ticarilla helmet undercoat that I used is a it's a flat flat finish. So anything you put over it probably will pull. This being an eggshell finish, it's not going to have that. Let's say the let's say the resin properties that make something shiny and makes it easier to uh, apply and flow out stroke. Um, it's going to be a shiny finish. Of course, it's not. It's eggshell. That went on quite nicely. I'm not going to say too much about it for now. Let's get it dried off. 
it's water-based so I'd say probably within half an hour that'll be touched dry to an hour it's probably uh, without reading the back of the tin let's see what recoat time is uh, recoat time application drying times read the back of the can always read your labels right under no normal circumstances and conditions we've got half an hour under normal conditions for touch dry um, allow six hours 24 hours is your curing time. Feel back with the professional and painter and decorator. Probably won't be waiting as long as that for a recoat time with that. If I can get it dry, I'll get another coat on. But always listen to recoat times because some paints actually benefit from having that longer period of time to dry. I'll probably leave it a few hours. I've got, I don't know if you can hear that. I've got my heaters on in this studio that I've got so I'm expecting that to dry off quite quick and um, for the benefits of this video I need to see what it's covering like for two coats over that green I want to feel what the paint's like that actually went on really nice you saw on the previous video for the satin what my thoughts were again give us some comments between the two videos that video will be in that playlist there but um, yeah let's see how that goes um, not bad it's not a bad paint what would I compare it to at the moment it's got a little bit more body to it than the Ticarilla. Very similar. I'd probably say very similar to the first coats that I do with Bedek, uh, the Aqua Advanced. But these paints, Aqua Advanced, Bedek, and this, they're acrylic. They're proper acrylic based paints. And as a painter and decorator, these are the paints you'll probably find nicer to apply better finishes than possibly, I'll put my neck on the line, you know what I'm like, than the ones that are the hybrids. And I have had some questions previous videos back. People are coming back to the painting and decorating, people are coming back to the painting and decorating trade and having to have a different mindset and a different way of applying these paints. So if in doubt, you can always ask me, but if you are, I'm not going to say old school because it's far from being old school. I would say it's not old school, it's doing it the right way. If you're somebody that's been 20, 30 years ago in the trade and coming back to it and you've had a bit of a time period away from it, paints have changed. The way you apply paints, you've got to apply your paint differently, particularly with these water base, you've got to work quicker with them. Uh, you've got to lay off quicker. Don't play about with the paints. Whereas if you were used to using oil-based paints and oil-based undercoats, you could work it, crow's nest it, horizontal, um, lay off and then vertical with your tips. It's not as easy with the water-based paints. Sometimes you've got to work a little bit quicker than what you've been used to before. And it's a case of getting it on and laying it off and putting enough on that it flows out nicely. But with a bit of experience and a bit of playing around with it, you'll get the feel for the, what the paints are. But I've spoken enough now, let's go away. Let's come back in a few hours now. If that's dry, I'll coat it up. If it isn't dry, I will leave it till next day. But I'm back amongst friends, aren't I? I'm kind of clashing with friends. I'm going to be honest. I've left it a bit. I've got my heaters on it. I'm in my studio. That's dry. Now, I'm under no illusion. That is probably going to pull on me because it's not fully cured dry. Not bothered. I'm not worried about that. I want to see what it goes on like. This eggshell don't look bad at all. Now, that previous video on the satin wood, you know what I said about that? A couple of coats in, it was, it was virtually covered. We know three coats because it was going over a green. Went on really nice. That will possibly be the coverage you get in that opacity coverage. It's because it's a proper acrylic, not a hybrid. Well, say that hybrids, you get some decent coverage in, with hybrids, but that proper acrylic goes on really nice. Um, Somebody mentioned in a, I don't know, flipping, lose track of the weeks. Somebody mentioned to me, and I mentioned it on the other videos, um, about applying water-based paints. You've got to have a different mindset. It's in like doing oil-based paints. And um, another question or comment somebody's mentioned to me before, you get a better finish with oil-based paints. Do you get a better finish? Because some of these, I'd expect oil-based to look like that i.e. brush marks. I've got no brush marks in that. It's flowed out lovely. Why? I can't remember the last time I used... I'm getting my paint out. I can't remember the last time I used oil-based paints. Very rarely I use oil-based paints now because there's that many good... I'm going to say 
It'll be all right. That many good paints on the market now. Water-based? I'm on about water-based paints. Why would you use oil-based? Give it a second coat. Fast forward it, Clive. You know, I like to use the word coverage, and I'm trying to explain it in layman's terms as opacity. Flatter paints, mats, as, as the scale goes, mats, eggshells, satin woods, semi-glosses, semi-sheens, glosses. The lower the, the sheen finish, the better your coverage will be. I'll say 99.9% .9 of the time. This is an eggshell finish, so it's a flatter finish. The finish below an eggshell will be a flat, like flat oil, flat water-based, a flat finish. This is eggshell, like an eggshell finish on an egg. Um, the coverage of that is probably better for the second coat than it was on the satin wood, which you'd expect because the more sheen level, I'll try and get layman's terms, the more sheen level you've got with the paint, uh, the less likely it is to cover as well particularly with water based you know what I've said I've moaned about that's why we test the what the whites this is a brilliant white that's why we test the whites because the whites don't seem to cover as well as a color because the pigments in it and bits and pieces like that we could go into that till the cows come home but I test the whites over a, a darker color to see how they are after two coats then obviously we'll need a third but that being an eggshell is actually covered quite nicely for two I'd actually say a bit better which I'd expect than the satin wood but I'm going to let that dry off and I'm going to come back in a bit and um, I'll possibly paint part of that door to give it three compared to the two and then we'll do a bit of a conclusion but I must say I'm liking that I'm probably liking it because it's proper acrylic based product this is a paint you've never even heard of and as I said in the last video because you might be watching this before that one the trouble is where do you get this paint from? We know there's internet, you can, don't worry, you can buy it, look on the internet, you can buy it and it'll be delivered to you within a day, two days, Amazon, eBay, but if you wanted to go and buy this over the counter, are you going to be struggling depending on where you live to get hold of this? I know Paintwell don't sell this and I would probably say to Fran at Paintwell if he's watching, um, you know who I'm talking to, can we get this into Paintwell? because this would be a paint that somebody would go in if they were looking at the bed deck, which I like, if looking at the isomat, which I like. You're all on a par, you're all really good paints. Would I use this again? Yeah, I think I, think I would to be honest. Let's come back in a bit. In those split seconds between the blending of these two um, bits of videos I told you I paint part of it a third coat and we'll leave the other part with two coats this is just the low tack Q1 tape you know the orangey uh, looking one So we just sum it up. Been washing my brush out as well. Uh, wash that fine. Um, keep telling you, wash and brush out. Warm soapy water, nothing too hot. You don't want to melt your synthetic bristles, particularly on these cheaper brushes. Um, nice, wash that nice, so no problem with that. It's not a brush killer. Oh, you've got to watch that video, brush killer. Right, I've, pu I've pushed the boundaries on this one. I've had heaters on, it's quite warm in here, I've got a bit of air coming through, um, heaters are on now, just keep me warm, and um, dry paint off. Two coats, eggshell finish, not satin, the satin you've saw needed a third coat, 
Right, a little bit green, not a lot, but I was happy with it. I'm really impressed. Again, that video, I pushed it slightly. Back then, I'd got no instructions on the back of a tin because it was a sample tin. Six hours recoat time, but fully dry, 24 hours. And always say, leave it as long as you possibly can. But six hours, I've not been that. I've not been 24 hours. I've done it within a few hours. The longer you leave it, the better. It's probably still been a little bit, it's been dry, but it's been soft for that third coat. Has it covered a bit better? Of course it has. That extra coat's made all the difference. Second coat, third coat, yeah. I think you can even see it there. Can you see that? That hasn't got the body of opacity coverage as what that has. So we understand that. What do I think of it? Personally, I prefer this finish, the eggshell, the eggshell finish, than um, the satin. Mainly, as I've said before, a flat finish covers better. Satin wood, not so good. Gloss finish, not so good. We're on about water-based paints. So on the whole, that second coat needed a third, which we understood, particularly being how dark it was um, for the undercoats. But I'd say, I use the analogy, blind man on a galloping horse probably isn't the political correct term to use, but I would probably say that for the third coat is covered. Always tell you, water-based paints, don't think of it like a, an oil-based paint. Get enough on, get it covering, make sure you're not getting enough paint on that it's running. Some paints are very thin and they do run and creep quite quick. God, but I'll say it in a minute creep quite quickly get it on make sure it doesn't run and leave it don't go back and play around with it that has covered quite nicely for a third coat and i would say i prefer that eggshell finish than the satin wood mainly because you don't see that little bit of flashing that i probably mentioned on the last video because I didn't give it, well, I didn't give it six hours, I didn't give it 24 hours, next day, recoat. If you're in the trade, what do you do? You coat up one day and you probably come back the next day, so it has as good as 12 hours. If you're pushing it, you might get two coats on in a day, because it's water-based. But sometimes paints do need that little bit longer. But on the whole, I like the finish, I like how it applies. I'm, I'm impressed with it. A paint brand you've probably never even heard of, Big in Turkey, that's all I can say. They're big in Turkey and they're trying to get big into Europe. Try and get your try and get your hold of a can to use it and try it and see what you think. So Google it and have a look. I've said before, Google it is your friend. That is a lovely finish. It's gone on nicely. I've got some videos there for other things you can look at. Can you see them there? Because I'm finishing there. On the whole, Doris the Door's got a nice coat of paint. I'm quite inclined to try a cheap sprayer or one of my sprayers to spray this bit better quality paint and see what it's like. So in the future, you might see a video where I'm using this paint and spraying it and seeing how it turns out. Cause you can probably get two coats on in one coat. You know how we do spraying. That video's there. Thanks for listening. Really impressed with that. Give it a go. Nice.